Hello, welcome to Todd Miller TV. Um, today's update is the October 2014 Las Vegas real estate market update. We're going to go over the same numbers that we go over every month. You'll be able to compare this video to all the other market updates I've done and see what the trends are. So we're going to start off with the most important number. How many houses are on the market? That's what people want to know. 11,380, that's total available homes on the market. Um, that's all types. That includes condos, townhomes, everything. Uh, to give you perspective, there, there are probably potentially uh, 300,000 properties for sale that could be for sale, I guess you could say. So as a percentage, it's still a relatively small amount. It's not an overbought market. At the high, this number was 26,000. The low, it was about two or 3,000. Okay, this is how many properties are under contract, 66, 63. Down here we have uh, 2803 that's sold in 30 days. And if we take this number and divide it by this number, we get this number down here, which is the total months of inventory in Las Vegas, which is four months. So we've seen this as low as two and change. Four is uh, average. It's actually, historically, it's on the low side. Um, this number has been 12 before, um, or uh, even more, back in 2006. So six is, five or six is probably like the national normal, like what's a normal real estate market. So four is still kind of a healthy market. Um, so I'm going to give you sort of a, like you're probably watching other agents do their market updates, either this market or other market. And what a lot of them will do is they'll include this number with this number. And then they'll, they'll, it'll skew what's going on here. And you actually can't do that. You've got to sort of throw these out. And this is why. This is all that's really available. These are under contract. So these are the future closings that turn into these. If you add this number to this number, it gives you a false sense of what's really available because these houses aren't available. Um, you could argue, too, that this number should be included with this one because these are almost sold, right? This actually, the reason I put this on here is this is a good indicator of this number, like how many of these are going to turn into an under contract in what amount of time. And this ratio is like two. Basically, in two months, it'll be under contract. <clears throat> we know that a lot of these drop out and things like that. That's why this number down here is four months. It's not really two months. So anyway, just like I share the numbers with you. Uh, the trend here over the last two years since we've been doing the market update videos are that we're tending to get some more inventory, but we were low. Uh, the, the home sale number is still pretty high number. This historically is probably what we have, you know, almost every... Um, October, September, October time frame. And then this number here, which is a little higher than it was, but still super healthy. So the bottom line, my take of the market is it's still a relatively normal market. Um, very few short sales, very few, few REOs, mostly equity sellers, people with equity selling their house. That's my update, and hope to see you on another video. Thanks.